He's the resurrected Son of the Almighty God. He's the name above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that he alone is Lord. My friends, Jesus is the name above cancer. Jesus is the name above COVID. Jesus is the name above depression. Jesus is the name above death itself. Jesus is either the word of blasphemy on our lips, or he's the savior before whom we bow. Is Jesus your prayer language today, or is he the name you curse when you're overdrawn, when you're angry? And let's just have some real talk. For 26 years of my life, the only time I used the word Jesus was to curse his name. The only time I said Jesus was when I was angry, when I was overdrawn. And I was a blasphemer, I was a sinner, I was an angry man, I was a selfish man. I was full of lust, I was full of addiction. And when I heard people preaching the name Jesus on the streets, I became filled with rage. Because I was far from God, I was an idolater. But my friends, I came to my senses. I realized I needed forgiveness. I realized I was a wicked man. I was a drunkard. I, was, I used women. And it was then that I repented. And I got on my knees and I said, Jesus, forgive me, a sinner. And in that moment, I was filled with the Holy Spirit. The peace of God came upon me. And I knew God was real. And my friends, ever since that day, Jesus has been my prayer language. Jesus is the most precious word on my lips. And my friend, I know this angers you. Bless but you. I love you and I bless you and I'm praying for you. You can call the police, you can call the council. But at the end of the day, at the end of our lives, no policeman will save us. No councilman will save us. One day we will stand before the judge of all the earth. And in that day, the only name we want to be confessing is Jesus Christ. In the words he himself used, he says, whoever confesses me before men, I will confess before my Father who is in heaven. Whoever denies me before men, who is a, whoever is ashamed of me before men, I will be ashamed of him before my Holy Father in heaven and all the angels. Do you see how important it is to publicly confess the name of Jesus? And my there is no greater meeting than you will have in your life than when you stand before the Almighty God and are judged by Jesus Christ. Every single one of us will be there. Every single person today on Penzance High Street will be at the great and dreadful day of the Lord, which is the judgment day. We are not saved and made ready for that day by our good works, by our religious deeds. Jesus does not come into Penzance High Street today calling the righteous. He calls sinners to repentance. And that's He does not here, he is not here hanging out with the pompous and the religious and the pious. He comes for those who know they need a doctor. He comes for those who know they need forgiveness. He comes for those who know they haven't got it all together. Pride, my friends, will damn your soul. Even if it's religious pride, it will damn your soul. There is none who is righteous. All of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of Almighty God. All of us are guilty. All of us. It doesn't matter who you name, which moral do-gooder, which philanthropist, all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death and judgment and hell. That will happen. But there's a gift, my friend. There's a gift. And the gift of God, the gift of a good God, the gift of a merciful God, is eternal life in Christ Jesus. My friends, this nation has hardened its heart, heart against God. We have turned our back on God. We have become a politically correct generation. We're obsessed with pleasing people. We're obsessed with celebrity. We're obsessed with man's rights. And we've forgotten God's law. And as a result of that, we are one of the most broken generations in a long time. We have fatherlessness. We have drug addiction. We have occultism and witchcraft. We have 800 abortions per day in this country. 
But God loves us. And his heart is for us. His heart is to save us. His heart is to heal this land. His heart is to touch you and hold you and give you assurance of everlasting life. This message is not politically correct. This message is not a comfortable one, but it is a saving one. And may God bless you to know his love and his grace. He wants to save the hardest of hearts in this place today.